Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. Welcome to Mushroom Wonderland. Today we're going to be talking about Tremedes versicolor or the turkey tail mushroom. It grows mainly on deciduous hardwood trees and is very noticeable because of these concentric rings of multiple colors. Tremedes means one who is thin and versicolor means multiple colors. They only grow one to three millimeters thick and they're kind of leathery. You can see it's very flexible and doesn't break very easy. These grow on hardwood trees, almost never conifer trees. You can find these in oak forests or on fruit trees where there's a wound. They can become parasitic on fruit trees and will grow in large stacks and clusters and in columns and rows. The pores are gonna be whitish to light brown depending on the age of the mushroom. And that's one thing that you can identify the turkey tail by. They have these pores underneath here, little tiny holes where the false turkey tail mushrooms don't have pores. Sterum ostrea is also known as the false turkey tail and it can look a lot like this. It's a lot more rusty or red colored. They're shell-like and they don't have these pores underneath. It can look a little bit confusing because of the amount of different colors that these mushrooms can be, but when you look underneath and you see all of these pores, it's a pretty good indicator that you have found Tremedes versicolor. They're called a turkey tail because they look a little bit like the tail of a turkey. This mushroom contains polysaccharides. There's also more confusing compounds in this mushroom that I'm not gonna go into. They have been considered for medical use, also considered for uh, treatment of cancer or anti-inflammatories. The FDA has not really approved that any of this is factual or that it can be useful in medical terms, but these have been used in Chinese medicine for hundreds and thousands of years for adjunct therapy and cancer treatment in Japan. And it's been approved for clinical use against cancer and immune deficiencies, but its effectiveness is still inconclusive. They really haven't proven the effectiveness in using turkey tails against cancer, but why not give it a try? The way to derive any kind of usefulness out of this mushroom, and it's not considered edible, it's so tough and leathery. Although it's not toxic, you could go ahead and try to choke one of these down if you want. But in order to derive the polysaccharides that are used medicinally from this mushroom. You boil this mushroom for a few hours, make some tea out of it, see if it does anything for your immune system. You can use it against cancer. Probably can't hurt. I appreciate your subscription to Mushroom Wonderland. We'll be back with another video soon. Thanks for watching our video about turkey tail mushrooms.